This video shows you how to do a totem pole design using your name as a starting point. Start with an A5 piece of paper. If you don't have A5 you can always halve an A4 bit and cut it in half. Fold the paper lengthways. Make sure your pencil's nice and sharp and then what you're going to do is write your name lightly along the length of the paper in capital letters. You want to make sure that your letters touch the top and the bottom of the paper. You need to press lightly for this because the lines that I'm making now will be rubbed out. Now you've got the basic outline of your letters, you can then turn them into bubble writing. Thicken up the lines on each side. So you can either do that using the square letters or you can round your letters off instead. I'm cho choosing to do more square letters. Use a rubber to rub out the first letters that you did. Open up your paper and create a mirror image on the other side. So you can either do this by copying and doing it freehand or you might be able to trace it so keep watching the video and then I'll show you how to do that. So you may need to draw the letters again and do the same as what you did. An easier and more accurate method is holding it up to a window or a light box and tracing over the initial letters that you did. When you open it up, it should look something like this. So you'll be working in portrait, you need to decide which way round it looks best. So remember it needs to look like a totem pole. Um, try and look for any kind of facial features within your design. So for example this A here could be some eyes and a mouth. So I think I'm going to do it this way. You're now going to add to your design so it actually looks like a totem pole. So remember that totem poles quite often had facial features in, um, human faces and animal faces, and pattern. So have a look at the resources provided on the slides for some inspiration. I decided to add teeth and nose and eyes on this part and then I included a second face at the bottom which I turned into a rabbit. I filled any gaps that I had with patterns. You need to ensure that you keep your work as symmetrical as possible because that's what totem poles were designed like. 